fam, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carolyn Ann and my channel is a lifestyle channel where we talk mainly finances. We discuss our debt payoff journey, our budgets, our sinking funds, savings challenges, savings, retirement, and what we save throughout the week. If you're interested in this type of video, please stay tuned. But first, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. Hey fam, welcome to the team. And to all my old subscribers, hey fam, welcome back. So before we get started, disclaimer, if you hear the air cut on, it's because I have my vents closed and for some reason it makes that noise and I can't stop it. These are the budgets that I have been using lately and I purchased them off Etsy. Although I like the layout and I like the idea of it, it does not work for me. So I will be going back to my old budgets that I was doing before I started this. This is the last time I will be using this budget sheet. So let's get started and I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see what's going on. So for our paycheck from May the 13th through the 19th, we're looking at paycheck two, which we estimated to be $1,452.92. And that is exactly what it was. So that's what we were working with this week. So we're going to move over to our expense, our fixed expense category. We budgeted our car insurance at $170.66, Google Fiber at $71.40, YouTube TV at $68.98, our home alarm was $48.49, Audible $16.15, Netflix $15.25, and Amazon Prime $14.99. That came up to a total of $405.93. In our actual category, our car insurance was $170.66. Google Fiber was $171.40. YouTube TV was $68.99. Home Alarm was $48.49. Audible was $16.15. And I love Audible, guys. I can go through a book within two days on Audible. When I'm at work and I'm doing my work, I work in the office where it's real loud. So when I'm working, I put my earplug in and I just listen to an Audible book just to keep me from being distracted by all the noise that's going on in my office because we have some loud people. Netflix is $15.25. And Amazon Prime was $14.99. That came up to a total of $405.93. In our other expenses, we estimated our cash envelopes to be $455, and that is exactly what it was. And we estimated our sinking funds to be $248. And that is exactly what we put in. That came up to a total of $703. In our other miscellaneous expense, we estimated $25.97. And that is exactly what we spent. So in our savings jar, we budgeted $50, and that is what we put in. In our business jar, we budgeted $25, and that is what we put in. And in our one month ahead, we budgeted $25, and that is what we put in. So that came to $100. And in our income versus our expenses, we estimated our income to be $1,452.99 minus the expenses of $405.93 minus the savings of $100 minus the other expenses of $703 minus the other miscellaneous of $25.97 and minus our rollover of $100 that left a balance of $118.09. 
In our actual category, our income was $1,452.99 minus the expenses of $405.93 minus the savings of $100 minus the other expenses of $703 minus our other miscellaneous of $25.97 and minus our rollover of $100. That left a balance of $118.09. Now we're going to move on to next week's budget, which is May the 20th through the 26th, which would be paycheck three. And we estimate our paycheck to be $1,767.13 plus a rollover of $200. That comes to a total of $1,967.13. And in our fixed expenses, we estimate our phone bill to be $530, which I know it's going to be probably about $60 more. Me and my husband just upgraded our phone, so we did get new phones. Um, so it will be on this bill. We estimate our car payment to be $369.89. That came to a total of $899.89. In our other expenses, we estimate our cash envelopes to be $455 and our sinking funds to be $246, which comes to a total of $703. In our debt, we estimate our Best Buy at $150 and IRS at $108. That comes up to $158. In our income versus our expenses, we estimate our income to be $1,967.13 minus the fixed expenses of $899.89 minus the savings of $100 minus the debt payments of $158 and minus our other fixed expenses at $703. That left a remainder of $106.24. So fam, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It would help my channel greatly. And if you have stayed on this long, I, I would greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing to my channel. But that is all for this video, fam. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you'll be notified next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye fam.